everyone. It's Nona Grace. You got the hiccups, you poor thing. Mm -hmm. I'm from Nona Grace, and Jim's got the hiccups. But You're from where? I'm, <laughs> I'm from Nona Grace. <laughs> I guess I'm yep. not from there either. Uh, hi, everyone. I am Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Boy, did I get that mixed up. It's the hiccups that distracted me. You've got to blame Jim. Oh, my blame. fault. Yes, it is. It's Sorry. your fault. Well, today I wanted to show you a few things that I was working on because it's almost Christmas. Did you know it's almost Christmas? One week from today is Christmas. And my kids were telling me about different traditions that were celebrated elsewhere, but I won't share that just yet because I have to learn them a little better. But I will tell you, um, I was making these um, little... They're chapstick holders is what they are. Here, you want to take the coffee again? I yep. guess I do need two hands. Mm -hmm. Darn it. Uh, and I was making a bunch of these. And Pamela's adoring crochet, she was making chapstick. Look at how many I made. I made a mm -hmm. lot of them. And what it is is La Bafana is going to be coming. And so these are the chapstick things. And so you put the chapstick in and I can hang it on the tree. For, or La Bafana can hang it on the tree. Not me. Mm -hmm. I don't hang it on the no, tree. You oh, don't no, you don't do it. I just put everything in there and then she takes care of it. And you wonder, who is La Bafana? This is La Bafana. She is a grandma witch. From what from culture? Italy. Oh, from Italy, of <laughs> course. And I was also making these. These are going to be for gift cards. They're little gift card holders is what they are. I've, I've, I've made four so far. I've got to make a few more because my um, I got a few more gift cards that are going to be going in them. So I got to make a few more. But anyways, mm. the La Bafana, she comes and she brings the kids chapstick. And the reason she brings them chapstick at my house, I my kids always ask me how come she always brings us chapstick. I says, well, she knows you live where it's cold. And your lips get chapped, and come to think of it, I forgot to put lipstick on. <laughs> <laughs> this is my natural color. Mwah. Looks gorgeous. <laughs> oh, it looks prettier with a <laughs> pretty in pink. <laughs> but anyways, she puts um, chap she brings them chapstick each year. And the story of La Bafana is the feast of the Epiphany, which is the week after Christmas. So the kids would have to come back. Because La Bafana, what does she do? She goes from house to house looking for children. And she always leaves them here because she sees all my toys. They want to know how come she leaves stuff at my house. Because she sees all the toys and all this stuff, the roller skates and things. She sees that I have kids stuff here, so I must have kids. Well, why well, is she looking for children? Why is she looking? Well, she was, she was, <laughs> uh, I know I should probably back up a little bit. Yep. The wise men. Pretty soon, oh, on the 21st, look outside, you'll see the Christmas star. It's really two planets that are kind of lined up, but they're not, they're they're in their own orbit. But it'll look like the Christmas star, and it only happens once in every 800 years. So hopefully you get to see it on the 21st, and you should see it right around when the sun's going down at dusk. Is that what it would be called? Yeah, dusk. Yeah, so you want to look for it. But what, what it was is La Bafana got a knock on the door and three strange men were at the door and she opens the door and she's, she's looking at them like she's got a broom in her hand because she you know needs safety got to have some safety there's strangers on her door and the men were the actually the three wise men and they were looking for baby jesus and they asked la bafana if she wanted to go with them and she says no 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 and she was thinking to herself why would i go with these three strange men I don't want to go with three strange men. So she kept, she goes, I have to clean my house. So she's sweeping the floor and tidying up and they move on. They go on to, to find baby Jesus. And she cleaned the whole house and she swept everything and dusted everything. And when she was all done, she thought, hmm, maybe I should go see if I can find baby Jesus too. So she gets out. But by then, the star is nowhere in sight. So... She's still searching, so she's got her basket with her goodies in it. If you notice, she's got her basket with her little, whoops, the glare, basket with her goodies, and of course her broom that she was using to sweep the floor in case she runs into any of those strangers again. She's got this, this, the broom. And um, she's trying to find 
baby Jesus. And so what does she do? She just leaves a little present at everybody's house that has children. Because maybe baby Jesus is one of those children. So that's what the Feast of the Epiphany is with the Italian witch. This is something that we've done for years and years and years. And I just kind of carried it on. I guess we do have sort of a tradition. When I yeah. did that Christmas tag, I thought, no, I don't have any Christmas traditions, but this is one of the Christmas traditions. Mm -hmm. La Bafana comes, but she comes on the Feast of the Epiphany, which is the week after Easter. It's when the wise men are looking for baby Jesus. Well, this is my story for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my crafts, my little chapstick and the La Bafana story. La Bafana. And the gift card, little crocheted gift card things that I'm making for the gift cards to go in. And, well, and oh, Mr. Brown laid an egg today. Yes, oh. my rooster, <laughs> my, my hen rooster, my rooster hen laid an egg. Today, poor little thing was yesterday was in and out of the out of the nesting box, in and out, in and out, in and out. And Paige goes to me today. She goes, Mr. Brown is in and out of the out of his nesting box again. I says, Yeah, he's trying to lay an egg. He just can't seem to do it. So then he went and got a drink and ate a little bit, and then he went back to the nesting box, and then he came out, and I went over to look, and I go, Ah, oh, Paige, look, he laid an egg. And so she goes, can I hold it? Because, you know, when they first lay the eggs, they're nice and warm. And she goes, oh, it's so nice and warm. I go, yeah, it is. And then I mark the date on it and put it in the refrigerator. So mm -hmm. that's what we had today. Mm -hmm. We got another egg from Mr. Brown. Poor thing. I felt bad. I wonder if the other hens have such trouble when they first start laying eggs. If they get in and out of the box and they keep trying and they keep trying. It's like if you're trying to have a bowel movement, probably, <laughs> and you just can't go. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> I don't know. What what a comparison. <laughs> well, you know, when you got to go, you got to go, and it feels like I got to go, but I can't get that darn egg out. So, <laughs> okay, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Now I can have a little swig. I'm done.